Oh. There it is. There's the way forward. No, nope, drop too much. Oh, no, the goo. <laughs> the Kool-Aid. Alright. Now see. I gotta find it again. And down there. Okay. I love that game. It's got some great writing. Great. Uh, the the narrator they got is fantastic. Hmm. And all of the different paths you can find are great. Like the original one I got. You guys will know it when you see it if you see it. But it. I was a hero. I was a hero that followed his heart. And I'll. I won't spoil how how that is. But it was also. It was. Funnily enough, it was also the most heartbreaking ending. Aww. But, again, we'll uh, go play that game if you haven't already. It was free for on PlayStation Plus in December, which, unfortunately, that doesn't help anybody now, but it's still worth money. I, I feel like it's worth every penny of what it's being sold for. Uh. Anyways. Oh, uh, lots of enemies down there. Oh, yes. Again, this is just like a whole bunch of winding paths, making sure you look over cliff faces. Also, let's take stock in the fact that this is one of the only games I could think of where it encourages you to kill puppies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> think about that. We just mowed down a bunch of puppies. They had money in them, though, so I don't feel too bad about it. Oh, I never feel bad. Huh? <laughs> That's just what it comes down to. It's like... Again, you you could complain about this kind of thing, but it's kind of integral to moving forward, so maybe don't do that? Exactly. Like, no, this isn't me going, oh no, how, what are we doing? It's me actually just making an observation of, you know? <laughs> it's some of the things that are just funny out of context Ex of the game itself. Because think about all the crap people give video games saying, it encourages you to do horrible things. Well, this is a very good-natured game, but we kill puppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point, actually. And on top of that, that little imp that we keep encountering with the bow and arrow... Kind of looks like Cupid. And, yeah, it looks like a mixture of Cupid and Satan. A little bit, yeah. So, so again, someone could just go, This game has the devil in it. <laughs> I can imagine some church group getting all bent out of shape about that. Yeah. Well, it's got mythological creatures, and there are these one and the, there are these certain enemies that look like devils. So this game is clearly encouraging pagan worship. <laughs> and again, the weird part is the weird part is. By the way, I want to point this out. Yeah. It's something I realized not too long ago. We've been blaming the wrong people for the existence of participation trophies. What's that? It's like, we always blame the kids. Like, the kids that can't handle not losing. No, that's the parents. Yeah. Who can't handle the fact that somebody is telling them that their kid wasn't good enough at something. Exactly. And you think they would get up in arms for grades, since that's what grades are. They're telling you either you're good at something or you're not as good at it something as someone else. Lady, you getting bent out of shape about me about this, like giving your kid an F because he clearly didn't know the material, you are completely going against the spirit of the thing. You're going against what education is meant to do. And I'll say right now, I was never really good in school, but I, and as a younger draw man, I thought, ah, this is bogus. But... Hey, Oba o Obasi, I thought it said <laughs> you, you thought it said something else because of current events. Exactly. Again, just follow the sparkles here. Mm-hmm. Also, 66 dragons. Not a single one is helping us. <laughs> How many are in this game, now that I think about it? 80. 80? Uh, yeah, there are 80 dragons. Huh. Closing it. Whoa! Whoa! Did you know that could happen? No! He totally sniped that puppy! I thought we were brutal! That's... That's kind of neat. I... I wonder if we can get him Again, to... finding those really cool interactions between enemies. Yeah. I... I can't believe you've never seen that before. That... I have never seen that. 
The amount of times you played this game, at least from the stories you told me. Mm-hmm. The yeah, amount of times I've played this, I've never seen them just take out the puppies. <laughs> Apparently we're not the only terrible people in this game. Oh, man. It's like how You Matt... guys are on the same side! What are you doing? It's like how Matt Groening, when he saw the developers make Simpsons hit and run, mm -hmm. They, they, they all- Oh! Oh, right, that story. Yeah, the, the developers of Hit and Run said, okay, you can kick random people. Yeah. We can have Homer kick Marge, but we cannot do it in front of Matt Groening. Yeah, we like, just... every, it's just this element that everybody seemed to be drawn to for some reason. And they had a pledge between each of them, all right, nobody can kick Marge in front of Matt Groening. And, of course, when he got the game, and he discovered the kick mechanic, the first thing he did was... Kick Marge all the way down to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> Literally! Uh, across the street and down to the Quickie Mart. Oh my goodness, he was in on the joke. He was... he loved it. it, it like, coming back to how even developers can be hilariously bad. Well, he... it's, it's just such a ridiculous thing to do within the context of the show. Exactly! Because if anyone's seen previous episodes of our stuff, they'll know I don't like Marge. Because mm. I find her constantly nagging Homer when she herself does little in the way to help the family to be annoying. I'm, I'm going to get myself in all kinds of trouble by sure. saying this, but, you know... Mansplaining is a thing women do, too. It's called nagging. Exactly. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Exactly. I mean, I've said it before, is, yeah, men lie, but women deceive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, truthfully... By the way, how famous do you have to be to be assassinated instead of murdered? I equate it to, you have to be famous enough that when someone wants to kill you, that, actually it's, it's just the profile of the murder. Basically, assassination is just murder. Okay. But what makes it assassination is just the scope of it. For example. Quite literally in some cases. Exactly. Someone were to kill Joe Schmo. Well, okay, they, yeah, he was murdered. They planned it, we found the weapon, we have the motive. Someone wants to kill the president. They, there's like a plan involved. Not that there isn't a plan, typically. But there is plan, resource, money. There is bargaining. There is getting the right kinds of people. Everything. Everyone, you are getting the right and wrong hands dirty with this. Mm. And it's such such in the way of planning and conscription that yeah it's an event not just a not just a murder hmm all right i can kind of see where you're coming from with that yeah that's the way i've always looked at it oh oh no bollocks. oh no into the abyss really that looked like the portal to hell all right well how are we going to do this then because i know where the sparkles are now i saw them off to the side there just I'm just going to try and rush through this place, really. No, I don't blame you, because really... I don't need to tangle with all of these enemies. We've got enough lives, theoretically. Yeah. And again, see how we know enough about the platforming and how to really approach the area that a home world can be this threatening mm. with invincible enemies and nothing but floating chunks of land that we can navigate. All right. I think this is the highest position I can get. Actually, you could have just gone around. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering where you were trying to get at. No, no, the... Yeah, right here, yeah. Okay. So they do shrink down that guy. Mm-hmm. No. No. Yeah, right here. So that's the last ten I was missing. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm right here anyway. We may as well go to Haunted Towers. Yeah. Oh, this is another favorite level of mine. Have at it. Oh, thank you. It's all you, dude. Okay. Oh, sorry. So, look at this magical place. So, right here. This is a suit of armor. In this enti in the entirety of this game of playing as a dragon, this is the first time we encounter a suit of knight's armor. Mm-hmm. 
we get this treasure here. So we just gotta crash through the gate here. And hey, a Nork! We haven't actually seen a Nork proper in a while. Yeah. And a wizard. Which is weird because we're getting closer and closer to their homeland. Exactly. And look oh. at that. Look Hot, at, dude. Look at this. That is a ghost suit, a suit of haunted armor. This is the most Dark Souls enemy we're going to encounter in this game. <laughs> And we're never going to let go of it. There's probably going to be some people who are going to get really pissy at us about that. It's like, how is this like Dark Souls in any way, shape, or form? What are you guys on? It's like, how is this happy, fun game with happy, fun, challenging game anything like the happy, fun, challenging game with Dark Souls? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if you guys have been paying attention, you'd know by now. Go it's... watch the rest of the episodes. Watch... I'll leave you an annotation right here, except I can't because they don't allow end cards and annotations in the same video. What the fuck is wrong with you, YouTube? Exactly. And look at this guy. Look. Nope. Look. Yep. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in my you house. You shall not pass. Did I, did I get the impression correct? Look at this. If I'm wondering, well, what do I do? And same with this guy. Oh! He doesn't have a sword, but still, <laughs> that's just as frightening. Well, yeah, so, this is pretty much the most... Oh, yeah, I remember this now. So, basically, in this, this level... To this progress, is where this power-up comes in real handy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you. So much power. Fuck you, So fuck much you. power. Oh, yes, I'm just gonna... Go get this real quick. Yes, and I think there were also some gems in that room where we got the kiss. Oh yeah. So basically, the the name of the game here is Superpower. Yeah. Super fi play. Find the fairy, and then just wreck everything in your path. Exactly. Study the level, memorize where everything is. Left. Oh sorry, I was getting this. Yep. Whew. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. There's nothing. Rev there's nothing left to blow up, but. Ooh, actually, there is. Oh yeah, this guy. And that one. Oh, I never would have thought to do that. Because I forgot if he ever, if that guy ever comes, ever comes to, but I figured get him now. <laughs> but yep. Preemptive strike it pretty much. Oh, yes. Let's see. I think we've cleaned this place out. All right, whirlwind. But yeah, fairies, knights, castle. I don't mean to backseat game. Sorry if I'm getting obnoxious. Oh, no, you're good. You're good, buddy. Oh, oh wow. Well, there he goes. Yeah. But yeah, look, fairies, knights, wizards. This is the most. Fa this is the most medieval fantasy of the of the spiral levels. It's one of the old. The, I like to imagine each of these dreams belongs to one of the dragons. Yeah. It's sort of like in Super Mario RPG, where the wishing road you can find the wishes of all these different characters that you recognize. Yeah. And you know it makes sense that one of the dragons would have a dream where hey, there's a castle. I'm a dragon. It's probably one of the older ones. Yeah. Ooh, you could, this could be from their from their youth. Yeah. Huh. Let me tell you. Did I ever tell you, little bastards, about the time I 360 no scoped King Arthur? Did I tell you about the time I laid siege to an entire country? Wait, what? <laughs> you were cool? <laughs> yeah. Well, where do you think all this treasure came from? I stole it and hoarded it. You didn't. I was so hoping that grenade would blow up that suit of armor. I was hoping to. <laughs> I, I, we both paused. That would be the ultimate skill shot, because you only get one chance at that, too. Exactly. There we go. Let's get this here. Yeah, we'll get to you in a second, sweetheart. Oh, man. Why is it... I'm just imagining I'm going to hide this treasure right here. Nobody will ever find it. No one will. When it comes Except to. that they kind of have to because we have to design it to be beatable. Exactly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I keep way. bringing up this. Uh, I don't think this. The example everybody keeps going back to is uh, Undertale. 
uh-huh. when you refer to an when you refer to an enemy that knows that the battle is fruitless. Yeah. That knows that the game that they're in a game and that uh, it's been designed to be beaten. Uh huh. I just you gotta wonder what that would psychologically do to a person. Yeah. <laughs> Especially a villain if you're playing against them, okay. or better yet, playing as them. Ooh. Like you know that the hero's out there. You know that they're a lot stronger than you. That you're destined to lose to them no matter what you do. How do you handle that? Exactly. Oh yeah, I see what I'm. Uh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Run faster. It's this bridge. It's intimidating when you're not used to the <laughs> responsiveness. Yeah. I. Okay. There's something I gotta show you. Have you ever played Grand Theft Auto V? No, but I've seen. Okay. So, essentially, I just played it for the first time a month or two ago. Oh really? Yeah. Like. I don't know, those kinds of games just never appealed to me. But Ooh. I had to get some footage from it because I needed footage of Trevor for one of the videos I was doing. Yeah. And I'm just watching his TV in this game, and it's tuned to this anime channel. Yeah. Have you seen these clips? Oh my god. I've, I've seen cartoons in their world, but I didn't know they were watching anime. No, th there is like a fake anime in Grand Theft Auto V if you're watching the TVs. Oh, and it's. Yes. It's. Uh, it's something, alright? It's good to know that there are people out there that are way more cynical than I am about certain things. Oh, that's awesome. 